Welcome cartoonists, hope you got your pencils ready. We've got another challenge, this is a pangolin. Okay, a pangolin, yeah, I hadn't really heard of one either. It uh, looks like a reptile, but it's, not, it's actually a mammal and it curls itself up in a tight ball, a bit like an armadillo when it's scared. But we've had a request for one, so I'm gonna do one playing basketball, obviously. Okay, gonna start with a triangle nose, okay? with a little line there just to to show the end of its nose. So I've done a little triangle like that. Now the back is a nice curve like this. Okay, this all looks like its head at the moment, but that's actually its back. And then we're gonna curve down again. Cause it's kinda gonna be standing up on its tail to try and reach the basket, cause they're only about 100 centimeters long at the biggest, so. It's not going to be a huge, it's not a huge animal. Now they've got kind of a, they've got, they're covered with thick scales on the backs. So we're just going to work on a bit of an outline for the scales just by these zigzag lines following the shape of the body, which is virtually straight down when you look at it. When you get to about there, do the sort of underline the shadow underneath and we've got something to work to then so you can see that tail sticking up I just curve that a little bit and that goes down to the ground so its tail is now it's sort of stood up on its tail start adding the little scales if you like you don't have to draw every single one of them you just give an idea of them and if they kind of link up to that zigzag line we've got at the bottom that's even better but you can see mine don't really. And they're a bit like fish scales to draw. But once you colour it, it'll look more like a pangolin. If you've ever seen one, you should Google one. They're weird looking things. Got tiny heads and these massive bodies. They eat mostly ants, so they must eat a lot of ants. Okay, so we've kind of got the, the top part of the whole thing on the bottom of the scales. Now we've got real chunky legs. So we're gonna do two V shapes there. That's like the elbow. And then these great big pointy sort of claw hands, which must be for digging up ant hills and things. Okay, so great big strong legs and claws. So there's the other part of the body coming down. Like I say, it's got a tiny head. So we're gonna carry that body down. It goes behind that big hand and down. And I'm even gonna have the back legs off the ground so it's so I kind of jump it up on its tail, just to give it a bit more action. I just thought basketball would be something a pangolin would be really good at. So there's the claws coming down. If you want to make them touch the ground, that's fine. If you run out of space, make them touch the ground. It doesn't matter, really. It's going to be your own version of this cartoon. So nice sharp claws. Close any little gaps. There's the, the sort of its underside carrying on. And you can colour that underside differently because that's like the vulnerable bit that it tries to cover up when it curls up in a, in a ball with all its armour plating. There's an easy way of drawing its other claws, like one hidden behind the next. And we don't see much of that other leg, that's about it, that other foot. So it kind of looks like it's jumping a little bit. Tiny little eye, that's all we need. Because if you look at pictures, that's just what they like, really. There's its ear. She's got a little hole for the ear. I'll give it a tiny smile. So it's a weird thing to draw. But why not? We'll have a go at everything. We'll try and find an easy way of drawing. Whatever you... Any ideas you'd like, just let me know. So that's like a very thin oval shape. 
create an oval shape and I'm going to go around it again. This is the hoop of the basketball um, the basketball ring. I'm going to draw the backboard in a minute. There's the nets coming down, they sort of curve in. So there's the net. It's just a really basic sort. I'm sure you can draw a better one than this. A real basic sort of uh, shape. But when you look at it, you can just see it's a it's a basketball hoop. And the backboard is basically a square shape, but it's on a bit of an angle, which I'll show you now. So you can just draw a line, maybe going up like that. It doesn't really matter what shape. It's like we're looking at it from a slight angle, so it's a bit of a weird shape. Like I said, but you can draw a better one than mine. And send it in, let's have a look. Show me how it's done. I'm going to draw more lines going around there, like the frame of that board. And it's on like a stand, so that, that comes back a little bit. A nice long line coming down. A little bit of shadow at the bottom. And you've got a square on here to aim for, so it bounces into that net, which pangolins are really good shots with the basketball, as you'll see. So there's some little uh, marks showing where the basketball's going. So a nice big O shape there. And the lines on a basketball curve that way and that way make it look something like and you can color that a nice orange color or something for the for the basketball so now I'm just gonna add a little bit of shading if you you know you're working in colored pencils if you want to do it um, it could be a light brown on the on the feet and the underside of its tongue and on its back can be a darker brown but if you want to get creative with the colors of course that's up to you But uh, say you're using purple for instance, just press very lightly with your purple coloured pencil for the underside and just press on a bit harder for the top. And then you can al always add little bits of shadow with your dark coloured pencils. So you can see that, that those little scales start on the top of the head there, you can just about see that. So some of these cartoon workshops, if you, even if you weren't really interested in drawing a pangolin, it's just nice to watch. But if you want to have a go, that's great as well. And send them in. Let's feature them on our, on our Facebook group. Okay, here, because we've got a bit more time on our hands, is defense, as they call it, in the... Uh, in the States and now uh, the perfect sort of defender of that net I think would start with the big letter N like I've done and there's another bigger N on that side and a slightly curved shape on that side now I'm going to start off narrow then wide and narrow again and that's one ear of this creature and there uh, finishes off narrow at the bottom where it joins the head that's the top of the, the head and what is a tiny rabbit and that pangolin is just rising above that rabbit there's the twitchy nose there are the eyes just a real simple, these are just little add-ons, I just need to add more to the cartoon really because we've got time and I like to make, I like to get carried away with cartoons. don't like all these blank spaces, you've got to put something in there and just be as crazy as you like really. So big U shape for the tummy. 
I was trying, trying to stop that basketball going in. So as those big old thighs of the rabbit, great for jumping. Well, it's not doing a very good job on this occasion. And there's a foot going down either side. And we'll put the toes on later because we'll just curve that round up to the body. And same there. It's got great big long feet. There's a couple of toes on there. There's a tail just tucked behind, which you'll see more clearly once we start colouring or shading in. A little bit of shadow underneath the foot. So one foot's off the ground. It's not made much of an effort there to stop that basketball going in. There's some little uh, movement marks which are always handy to show that waving its arms about. So there we have a pangolin scoring a basket going past the defence. And I can see we've just got a little bit of room there at the top. So while I shade this in, I think, is that ball actually going to bounce in to that net? Or do you think it might bounce back out again and miss the hoop completely? So what we've decided is uh, once we've put a few little uh, motion marks around that pangolin and the rabbit, we should have something going up for the rebound. So in case that ball bounces back and misses the hoop, we're going to have a mouse just there to uh, probably get knocked about 50 feet backwards when that ball bounces back. Probably land on top of it. But it's having a go anyway. So if you want to have a go at drawing this, there's like the thigh of the mouse with its little feet. It's a really small drawing this, so... I'm not putting too much detail on. There's one hand. There's the other. There's its tummy. There's the inside of the ear. There's its other leg just tucked behind there. A nice long tail going back. There, ready for the rebound. So let's see if you've got anything like our scene here. Just colour that mouse whichever you like. I think on the main kind of cover I've made for this, on the front of the header of this cartoon, I think I've left it white, this mouse. So there's the scene. Here's just a little bit of background. There's the, the boards around the side. I think they have these. I'm not sure whether they have those or these are like like a football ground, they also have the boards around the side, maybe basket. I don't know much about basketball, but I do know pangolins are good at it. There's some of some uh, spectators at the back, all cheering them on. They're pangolin all stars. There, and that's what I've got from your pangolin suggestion. So I look forward to seeing what the next suggestion is. Just leave a comment on what you'd like to know how to draw what you'd like to see me draw give us a thumbs up if you don't mind and if you're just watching and joining in and you've not subscribed yet please subscribe because something might just pop up on your screen that you might like to have a go at drawing see you on the next workshop